The Iceman Cometh, here's your look at the Batman Missions Ice Blast, Mr. Freeze. A big thank you, by the way, to viewer Bill who took the time and sent Ice Blast Mr. Freeze my way. The very first thing we'll do is take the tape measure, try not to knock the figure over, and measure to the top of Mr. Freeze's ice dome. Would you call that an ice dome? I would call it an ice dome. We'll stop the Ultra Measuretron 5000. A lot of people, by the way, have been asking, where did you get the Ultra Measuretron 5000? Well, actually, it's not called the Ultra Measuretron 5000 to, to disappoint, I'm sure, anybody asking. But I picked this up on Amazon, if anybody was wondering. Maybe I'll put the link even down below. <laughs> I certainly don't have stocks or investments into this tape measure company, but if anybody was asking. If you were also asking how tall Mr. Freeze is, a lot of questions being thrown out here. 6.6 6 inches in height, which works out in centimeters to be 16.8 centimeters tall. You want some size comparisons? You got your size comparisons. Here he is next to a Batman. Not the original Batman. This, I believe, was the Batman that came included with his Bat Cycle. And some recently looked at figures. Here's Mr. Freeze next to, if I can get him to stand, the Riddler and a much smaller Batgirl. You can see, proportionately, they're all scaled differently to one another. Batgirl is really the difficult figure to get to properly stand. Keep it together, Batgirl. Keep it together. We gotta, we gotta just show the viewers. There we go. There we go. There we go. Here are all various, various different characters from the same universe of Batman missions. You can see how they all scale differently to one another, with Mr. Freeze being quite considerably bigger and taller than the others. The award for the largest and coolest, you see what I did right there, goes to Mr. Freeze for this giant blade. This looks like a shard of ice that he has forged himself. It is done all in translucent plastic, but why, what's ironic about it, not that there's no irony to this, is it does look like it's two halves that they simply have put together. You can see sort of the indication of that being that these are tabbed. I don't know why they just didn't mold one thing of plastic instead of actually molding two and putting it together. This, in the trade-off of it, would be a much more expensive piece to produce, being that it's made of two halves. Now, I don't think that the halves are supposed to be intended to be separated as if you wanted to have two blades. Let's entertain that theory, shall we? Now, see, prying it away, it's telling me the whole time, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. Something's telling me I shouldn't be doing this. So I'm going to keep it all intact. Pretty neat. It kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that we were getting with the Batman figures. In fact, actually, a lot of Mr. Freeze looks like he takes some cues from the Batman series. Well, that Batman spin-off cartoon series in which we've looked at the, I think, all of the figures that they've released for that cartoon. I had a look at it on this channel many, many years ago, mind you, but had a look at it nonetheless. Now you can take his ice sword, you can easily, very easily put it into his hand, and it sits in place like this. Now if you want to have it also in the other hand, on the other hand, uh, it does fit into his hand, although I find it's a little trickier to get it in there, but it does still fit into his hand, just in case somebody was asking. One of the other things that you can do with the sword as well, if you flip the figure around, there's this whole opening, well, it's more a peg opening, that seems like it's almost the same size, if not the exact same size as that hole there. So what you can do is plug, plug the blade onto his back. If you are also wondering what it looks like on the other way around, you can also really, in theory, I guess, have it on an angle if it, you know, doesn't look as obtrusive. Still looks sort of um, obtrusive, but you can have it displayed on his back. I like that. I like that you can put it somewhere else other than just simply having it in his hand. Get a good gander at this, my friends, muchachos. We're going to move that to the side. We'll have a look at Mr. Freeze. I am digging this Mr. Freeze. At the time of shooting this review, shy of the fact that Bill was nice enough to send this my way, thank you again for that, by the way, Bill. Never seen this figure ever in stores, ever in stores. It's pretty neat, I have to admit. And uh, it does have some neat elements to it. It sort of is a combination of many things sort of put together. The primary, like if I'm looking at the torso section right here, 
bears some resemblance, sort of resemblance, to what we were getting with the DC superheroes, Mr. Freeze. Sort of that kind of neat, armored-up look to him. While other cues, it looks like he's taken from the Batman series, the Batman cartoon series, not the Batman animated series. Primarily the fact that his dome is made up of ice, and it doesn't seem as if... Let me just see if I can pry it off. It does feel like it... There we go. Pops right off. My hands were just a little on the slick side. And there's Mr. Freeze's head underneath. Looks like he's sporting a bit of a mohawk. Liking the look of his face, better want to keep this on him because obviously it's not going to do well for him being under all these hot lamps. He's going to cook and he's going to toast away. So we're going to go ahead and put that back on. A couple of little slots on the back, on, on the top there. Just pop that in place. And Mr. Freeze, once again, is chilling to the bone. Again, I love the design of this guy. I love that he's not also symmetrical. One side clearly is a much smaller arm, both of which are made of translucent blue plastic, while the other arm is this sharded, giant, rock-faced sort of ice hand, a clobbering hand, if you will. This would be the hand that he would probably use to just smash through things. Love that it's got these little, almost icicles sticking out from it. Although the icicles are not pointed, likely they've done that for safety precautions. I keep doing this, you probably see me keep doing this. Uh, one thing that's interesting about the hands is that the material that they used makes the hands extremely rubbery. You can see it looks like it's made out of taffy, this side as well. The rest of his body doesn't have that same type of plastic, so it really is only kept here. And I guess at the very least it's kept to the dome. Although the dome does feel like it's a little bit more of a denser plastic. Even though it's really a lighter, thinner grade of plastic. Nice little also touch I like is this x-ray uh, chest opening here where you can see his rib cage. And I'm assuming that is his rib cage. Looks pretty cool I have to admit. Oh I see what I did right there. It's just, again, a nice combination of different things coming together, making a really neat Mr. Freeze. The bottom of his boots, or the lower half from basically like the waist down, again, harks back for me to the original The Batman, Mr. Freeze. He does have notable peg holes on the undersides of his feet. Uh, Mr. Freeze, I do find, has a little bit of a difficulty standing. I know, it looks like I'm just fibbed my way through that, because the proof's in the pudding. He doesn't look like he's falling anywhere. Well, it's only because of the way I've got him angled. If I've got him a little bit more straightforward, he seems to want to be a little off-balanced. Once again, it's proving that I'm a, a figure face. You'll have to take my word for it that he did have some difficulty prior to this review, apparently not during this review, of falling over. Let's run through his posability, shall we? I guess we could take the head off now, that dome off. Just to show you that he does have head articulation. It's a little on the stiff side, yes, but he does still have posability left and right on his head. Hinging up and down, it ain't gonna happen. It's not happening on this figure. I guess there's no real specific way that you have to display the helmet. I mean, there's that way, and there's that way. I guess it just depends on which angle you want to put it. The arms rotate all the way around. They don't hinge out, unfortunately. He does have a bend at the elbow. It uh, doesn't have anything what seems to be a rotation in the hand. Nothing here either. A hinge back and forth. And this arm also, just really stiff, rotates around as well. A lot of things just being really stiff on this figure. His waist swivel. Uh, his legs go forward. His legs go back. Not by much, though. <laughs> Not by much. And there, in a nutshell, is Mr. Freeze. For icings on the cake... I see what I did there again. I'm going to put the ice sword into his hand because I think it just looks so rad. I wanted to say cool. I know you guys thought I was going to say cool, but I thought I threw enough icy puns into this review. Didn't want to wrap up the review with yet another one. Still a neat looking Mr. Freeze. Um, again, big thank you to Bill for taking the time and sending this my way. This could very well be one of my favorite figures from the Batman Missions line. In final looks, I went back and did some researching on this so-called Batman Missions Mr. Freeze. 
Bill was very nice enough to take the time and send this my way. And again, big thank you to Bill for doing so. Unfortunately, it didn't come with packaging. So I just assumed it was from Batman Missions, which scratched my head even further because I couldn't pinpoint where I saw this figure from. It looked familiar, but I know I didn't see it recently on store shelves. So I did a little bit of checking in between the review here and final looks that we're looking at right now. Turns out that this is from the Mattel 2012, and this is from the Batman spin-off series, which are about the same scale, as you saw over the course of this review, to the Batman Missions line. So it seems a bit of a faux pas on my part that having a look at this figure over the course of this review, I kept describing it as Batman Missions Mr. Freeze, when in fact it actually was from the Mattel 2012 Mr. Well, Batman lineup, and this was the Mr. Freeze from there. It goes to show that a little bit of researching certainly goes a long way, but on top of that, that a lot of these figures are mix and match components. I certainly could have easily just gone back and re-recorded the entire review and no one would be none the wiser, but I felt the need to keep it intact so that I could show you guys a little bit of, like I said, researching goes a long way, but then on top of that, that you can use existing figures from a current wave with previously released figures from the same company. Even though this was from 2012, which dates back, I mean, we're into 2019 right now, 2012, that would put us about seven years ago. It goes to show, though, that Mattel releasing figures sort of in the same mold, even if we don't ever get ourselves a Mr. Freeze, maybe as cool as this one. Okay, I did it one more time. You could easily just have them displayed with the same Batman Missions figures that are currently on the market today. So either way, when it comes to posting this review, I'll post it as the Mattel 2012 Mr. Freeze. You'll have to excuse me, of course, over that this review. I did describe it as the Batman Missions Mr. Freeze, which wasn't actually the case. Either way, again, big thank you to Bill for taking the time and sending this my way. I'll have to remind myself that this is the Mattel Batman 2012 version of Mr. Freeze when I put it up in the title. You'll have to, again, bear with me, and I'm sure comments will be down below. That's not, Bat That's not Mr. Freeze from the Batman Missions. No, it's not. No, no, it's not. As a side note, too, it's just, it's interesting the further I looked into this figure. Uh, one of the benefits, again, of doing this in Final Looks is that I get a chance to kind of look and examine the figure a little bit more before I kind of sign off the deed to the house. Um, one other thing, too, is that this Mr. Freeze was also packaged again, but he was packaged with different packaging. I don't know if it was actually from the 2012 Batman packaging because it was different from the other 2012 Batman. What's interesting, though, is if you look on eBay for this particular figure, just look up Ice, uh, I think it was Ice Blade Mr. Freeze that this particular one was called, um, even though the seller didn't know it said Ice Blast Mr. Freeze. But if you look at some of the other Ice Blast Mr. Freeze figures on eBay, you'll see that there's a couple of releases of this very same figure that has the sword split in half, packaged deliberately to be split in half. So it just goes to show. We all learned a little bit of something today in this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and certainly stay tuned because more videos will be coming soon to this channel. Some Batman missions and in cases of Mr. Freeze here, the Ice Blast Mr. Freeze, some of them, well, aren't Batman missions. Either way, as always guys, thanks for watching as you always do. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more videos will be coming soon to this channel. And thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.